All right, lovely. This is um, what I call poor man's crab cakes, okay? Fresh Dungeness crab, just cooked the crab, 20 minutes, salted, boiling water, pulled it out, shucked it, banged it in here. Um, the rest of this dish is mashed potatoes, onion, celery, and red bell pepper. That's pretty much it. Seasoning, little cayenne, little salt pepper. All this to be on my blog. Um, www.imagineorganics.blogspot.com So, pan down here Deb, what I've done here is I've filled the mixture um, or i filled the uh, little pastry rings, what I call these little baker's rings or whatever you want to call them um, i filled them with the mixture, okay, so the secret is you cook your mashed potato, you let it cool you cook your mirepoix or celery, onion, um, red bell pepper, let it cool, you season all that stuff together, cook your crab, let it cool, and then you combine the ingredients with an egg. Like I say, this will be on my blog, and when you cook these guys, you're going to cook them slowly. Well, you want them to brown on the bottom, but very slowly, because you want them to heat through. So, and then we're going to serve this with a little rice, I've got a little chard going, and I've got a special little mango kind of chutney sauce thing that I'm messed around with and we'll see how that goes. So um, when I flip these we'll be back and I'll show you how to plate them and all that good stuff. Lovely. Cheers. Alright, lovely. So we got our crab cakes made. I put them in these little holders, you know, these little baker's things. Um, so I just put one on a plate, each plate here. Um, don't forget, when, if you've got a friend that works in a restaurant, order crab meat from them because they're going to be able to get you cans or a pound or a half a pound of crab meat, save you all the trouble of um, boiling the crab, picking it and all that stuff. So anyway, if you're lucky enough to have that uh, option, do it. So what I've got here is I've got my uh, crab cake, I've got a little uh, mango um, sauce uh, I've made with a little white wine. Um, bottom line is, when you see the deals come through with mangoes, fresh mangoes, buy them. Let them ripen and put them in the freezer because this is when you're going to need them. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to put a little mango sauce on here. Just on a plate a little bit, a little bit on top. Don't want too much. I'll tell you later how I made this. This is just simple little white wine, little chili, little mango. Simmer it down. I've got my greens here. I've got a lovely bit of sweet potato and chard with onion. And I'm going to put that on the plate. And that on the plate like that. I mean, this doesn't get any better than this, does it? Look at this. And this is awesome. Awesome. Awesome and wholesome, as they say. Blooming wonderful. Because I've never, really, I never have any of my stuff right in front of me. That's because I'm working in a little crappy two burner stove, little crappy kitchen. But really, look, look what I put out. Not bad, eh? You can do that too, you know. You can do this. Blink of an eye, you guys can do this. It's just simple food. Went to extremes today to put this out, but that's all right. You guys, once you start cooking, you're going to love to cook. You're just going to love to cook all day long. Look at that. Bon appetit. I mean, this is beautiful. Cheers, mate.